Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Um, last time we did the dungeon Sigma Dreamscape and convinced Sigma 4 not to produce weapons of mass destruction to kill us all. And instead, Jamming Way convinced the Omicrons to start a cafe here at the edge of nowhere. And this is a tribal quest where we help them achieve that. The cafe at the end of the universe. Welcome, Desiree, to the last Drax. At long last, we are open for business, and that's not all. This unit recommends you allow the squeaky life form to elaborate. Please be advised that this recommendation does not extend to other conversations. For one thing, we've cleaned up the place since your last visit. The counter is clean enough to eat of it. We also recruited additional Omicron to our course. They have absolutely not better to do and are thus stationed here at all hours. I fear the lack of customer service experience may prove an issue, however, so I think it best that our first patrons be similar to the people of Ephares. You lot have been awfully understanding of our slip-ups with the moon. To fulfill that objective, this unit has taken the liberty of ordering the replication of passively intelligent lifeforms based on data recovered from the dead ends. These lifeforms now exist as tangible simulations, much like this unit itself, allowing them to enjoy cafe services. If you orient your ocular orbits to my right, you will find Patron 1 and Patron 2 of the Karelian people. Prepare to die, traitor! I shall now obliterate your hideous helm and your belligerent brain with it! A logical alignment with a global community is the only way to restore peace. That and the utter annihilation of our enemies. You would say that, mongrel. You have long since ceased to see beyond the leash around your neck. Or perhaps that tasteless head where that's cutting off oxygen to your brain? You and your masters know naught of righteousness. The peace you offer is but apathy, self-determination subjugated by the pull of a yoke. Pray that you at last know freedom and death. As you can see, it's not going as well as we had hoped. Mm, the data indicates that while the Karelians prospered materially under the global community, the anti-establishment freedom fighters fought back against its oppressive social conditions, leading to total annihilation of both civilization and star. Um, excuse me, it seems like you both want the same thing. To put an end to this conflict and live happily ever after. Also, to murder each other... But that didn't turn out so well for you last time. How about you take a seat and talk this over? I suppose that will have to do for the time being. For you see, I have something even more important to show you with me. Can you see it? Yet at the end of the universe, a new star has been born. Furthermore, readings confirm that this unidentified star is composed of dynamis. With the Ensinger gun, Ultima Fool should no longer be doomed to despair. Yet what kind of star, what civilization could have arisen out of the dynamics of this place? I shudder to think. That is precisely why this unit recommends eliminating potential threats immediately. The looming specter of a hostile civilization is not conductive to carrying out current orders to live. Have you learned nothing of Homo Karelians? We cannot simply go about annihilating everybody who looks at us, Askins. Besides, it would be a shame to waste any potential resources the star has to offer. It's not as if we are rolling in tea leaves out here. 
this unit finds the eminently killable life forms outlook to be intolerably naive. I show you eminently killable, you uh, weird looking fork. Um, anyway, I propose that, with your help, Desiree, we first investigate this newborn star. There will be plenty of time for annihilating later, should such message be called for. If both eminently killable life forms exist, you may access research protocol from Omicron base. This unit will accompany you for your own safety. Beverages about an opiate to the masses. Does this place even have a menu? Cafe operation efficiency at 100%, awaiting further order. Of all these brilliant machine building machines, why did we get stuck with the root one? Because he helped us. Beyond this portal, you find a research area constructed for the purposes of collecting data on the new star. You may proceed with caution for, to the star from there. Color me impressed by Sigma 4, that is. It's the one that's made all of this. Now look sharp, Foggy! Portal to A4 research. This unit has already given the order to increase the instruments and material availability in A4 research. Potential enemies will not find base Omicron unprepared. Apparently, if you wish to hard enough, this will teleport us all the way to a new star. How hard is hard enough? FDL travel initiated calibrating coordinates. Blank slate. If Ultima Fool is covered by sentiment, does that mean this huge thing came straight from someone's heart? Initiating scan of plant surface and core. Environment scans inconsistent with data from previously recorded planets. No signs of civilization detected. This unit can only assume that the star is entirely new. Unlike anything seen before. Uh, emergency alert from the last tracks. <laughs> this unit will now transmit directly from Stigma 4. Emergency alert, customer designated Patron 001 and Patron 002, resisting delivery of sustenance. Weapons have been drawn, please advise. Resisting? What in the world did you serve them? As proposed by the flea ridden manager, staff first attempted to provide patrons with locally rendered carrots. These were rejected as not food. Cordona oil and Omicron grease were also rejected, despite databases indicating that these substances fulfill 95% of the criteria for designation as food. Words unsuitable for transmission also issued four from patrons at this time. The torrent of verbal abuse activated the Cordona Guardian's moderation filters, causing it to set weapon systems to purge. All remaining units have withdrawn behind available cover. Projection indicate a 
0.9783% chance of failure should further arbitration be attempted by current staff. Management support requested. I sort of expected this. After all, artificial carrots just aren't right. Best with fresh and juicy crunch. Best with slight aftertaste of dirt. This may sound far fetched, but perhaps they don't like carrots? I don't know why anyone would bother putting other things in their mouth. And there are perfectly good carrots lying about, but very well, I suppose we need to concoct some sort of nutritionist admixture. Data indicates that cultivation prospects in Ultima Fool are abysmal. To manufacture ingredients would require a dedicated production plant. Given the fate of our aforementioned carrots, that simply will not do. But what of this new star? Could it not be used to cultivate the fresh culinary ingredients we need? I can see it now, our customers' contentment about tasting the most delicious and nutritious cuisine I've ever had. The sight should delight me as much as 100 carats of happiness at least. Goodness me! Remember, this place is all made of dynamis and is influenced by the hearts of the people. Scanning soil, acidity, moisture content, and temperature within acceptable parameters. And it's soft under my paws, as if it's simply begging for cultivation. Indeed, analysis indicates that 56.2% of cultivars registered to database during prior conflict with organic civilizations would be suited to this environment. Did this star grant my wish? I suppose given the nature of this place, it's not unreasonable to believe that residual energies from Meteon's nest should have coalesced into a new star, nor that star would be as susceptible to emotion as the rest of the dynamis around here. This theory is excessively convenient, but the data does not contradict it. The ability to insult me even when we are in agreement never ceases to amaze. Fortunately for you, I have better things to do than bicker with a bucket of balls right now. Oh magic of creation, feel the craving deep within my soul and grant me endless carrots! Perhaps gluttony does not qualify as an emotion. Baga, yet my hopes for a cafe do apparently. Unlike my, um, however sincere visions of carrots specifically, that intangible hope for a potential future took form as tillable earth. In which case, perhaps the joy of us yet unrealized possibility is the key to success here. What shall we call it? Illusion. A joyful land where our hopes may come to rest. The methodology at work here remains alien to this unit, but the overexcited organism speculation has merit. Dynamis has been demonstrated to make the impossible possible. However, the data also shows that it lends itself as easily to ill as to good. If the beings of Ultima Fool succumb to despair once again, the consequences will be dire. This unit does not even need to run the calculations, to be sure. 
Oh boy, my carrots. I forgot all about the customers. We must attend to them with all haste, lest they warp the nature of a star. The operation efficiency below 13%. Unfortunate circumstances detected. Reviewing customer service manual. Do I look like a peacekeeper to you? That metallic taste will haunt me till the day I die. Nah, that's what I get for breaking bread for freedom fighters. My mouth is so oily. <laughs> This unit must admit that its projections were insufficient for having failed to anticipate this outcome. Please, if you would just sit down for a nice coming cup of tea. As if I would fall for your ruse a second time, that food you served us made me long for the days of chewing a boot in my trenches. Deeply bored pains me, I must agree. That was the least palatable vegetable I've ever had eaten, wartime or no. If I die, my blood is on your hands. Heavens, we can't have that. We wish only to satisfy our customers, to bring them joy, so they may never again fall to despair. What dishes would bring you joy, if I might ask? Everything we typically eat, from beans to beef, is manufactured according to specifications that I could not begin to guess at. But I should take anything even approaching normal at this point. Perhaps a salad to cleanse a palate of that horrible oil? As long as there's none of those genetically modified locks in it this time. I see two salads with completely organic ingredients. Coming right up. How soon your paltry grey matter forgets there's a dearth of produce in this corner of the universe. Even on a new star, seeds will require time to grow. Oh, but surely Desiree can do something about that. You're a botanist, are you not? Surely there must be some manner of edible flora around here, inconspicuous fruit maybe? And I dare say local ingredients are something of a conversation starter, so that could be the next step toward our patrons resolving their um, differences. Wouldn't that be lovely? Alright. Need only relax and wait. We will serve you a delicious dinner yet. Reluctantly reviewing natural resource database. Ping. Promising notes located. Onions growing in the rare tara area show acceptable nutrition composition. Database indicates they may also provide desired flavor to the impending salad. While you do that, we will see if we can't, if we can't scrunch up a few more ingredients from our stores. Though I still cannot imagine why one would prefer other foodstuff to carrots, I must admit that I find this culinary experimentation rather invigorating. I struggle to understand why you have ushered us back into existence in this fashion. The wheel of time does not turn in reverse. Are you planning to feed us those ashen plants over there? Never been fond of ash in my mouth, though I suppose there might be a certain nostalgia in it now. Yeah, tower sounds like dragons. Bam. I was looking where it is. Zoomed out like this, I couldn't see it. Oh, 
return of allied life form Desiree is most welcome. This unit can only hope that the other organic life forms will now cease their whining. Quality and quantity of provided ingredients exceed expected parameters. Yes, maybe. I knew Desiree would go above and beyond. Now to put these greens to the test. Needless to say, I fear for my life, but now that you've gone to such trouble, I suppose we should try it. An astoundingly robust spectrum of flavor and texture. I was unaware that food could possess such pleasant complexity. Must produce dishes pale in comparison. Watch your tongue, the global community solved hunger through automation, you know? You lot would have scurvy thrice over without it. Still, I must admit that the flavor is unique. Though we replicated a wide variety of cultivars in our factories, just as many were consigned to history. I see now what a loss that was. There doesn't appear to having the freedom to choose what year it is, there not? More recognize the validity of your world hunger argument. Perhaps there is room for both perspectives at this table? As this peculiar waiter observed, our haste to elevate one at the expense of the other has not served as well in the past. Odd words for hearing from a freedom fighter, but not wrong. That's the spirit, I'm certain you two have plenty in common if you're willing to hear each other out. In the meantime, why not help us with the gardening? Release some of that pent up energy that has you shouting at each other all the time. Think about it, it's honest, non violent work, and the more you grow, the more new flavors you can experience. We have a patch of land on a new star that has your name on it. Well, your patron designation, anyway. What do you say? I cannot claim I'd be happy on the battlefield. I fought in the name of peace until there was not left to fight. Or to fight for. There has to be a better way. Maybe in safeguarding life rather than taking it, I find out what it is. I hesitate to align my efforts with that of a global citizen. It is true that we now have a freedom to choose a better future. Very well, I shall put down my arms and travel a different path this time around. Then it's a truth. There's plant wars vegetables. Oh, I smell hope. It smells like carrots of happiness. If you're wondering, perhaps Elysium can smell it too. Inconclusive and 80% nonsensical, however, possibilities resulting from this unlikely alliance approach the infinite. I suppose that means we'll have to go and see for ourselves. Come along, patrons! At the very least, our Karelian friends should be able to cultivate those unusual salad vegetables you found. If they can grow here, they can grow anywhere. Despite the small yet statistically significant chance of their being greeted by hostiles, the naive life form has sent Payton 1 and Payton 2 ahead to Illusion. This unit suggests we make haste in confirming what effects, if any, the emotions have wrought on the star. People. 
The Karelians' heartfelt hopes for a peaceful future have taken form as resplendent gardens. Nevertheless, much of a newborn star remains as unto a blank canvas. What other hopes will the power of dynamis bring to life? I don't know where it came from, but I'm glad to have a sudden appearance of that agriformer. It's a relic from the days before we fully automated food production, but will make nurturing the plants much easier. As I was considering the myriad possibilities we might sow upon this unmarked land, I was filled with a strange sense of optimism. Next I knew where were plants all about. The Karelians seem to be multiplying. I wonder if these ones were pulled from the mire of despair out there, just like our patrons. In any case, we're going to need more salad. Mm, Dynamis-based alteration of a local environment exceed all but the most improbable of projections. Data from prior civilizations indicates that organic customers will be pleased with the vegetation available for consumption. This unit proposes a temporary retreat to A4 research to discuss future salads and salad adjacent matters. Just look at the size of it! It's not the size. Still accounting for our differences, of course. Not a bad idea. I suppose we can try it your way. This should do it. Are you quite certain? Our efforts have spawned fruit more strange and beautiful than I could have possibly imagined. All management units are present. This unit will now run multiple cognitive simulations of the last track's future. Analysis complete. The simulation suggests that further consultation with reconstructed life forms and changes to the nature of Elysium will both be beneficial in increasing future customer satisfaction. Overall friendly interaction appears key to the success of Last Drag's objectives, which are vital to the ongoing mission to live. In other words, if we continue to value our patrons, our cafe will become an ever greater source of joy. The unit would not make such a fanciful projection, but nevertheless agrees with the general trajectory proposed. The ongoing assistance of allied life from Desiree will also be invaluable. Will you continue to act as a will you continue to act as a management unit? I swore I'd never go back to retail. Count this unit in. Your cooperation is appreciated. In preparation for our next phase of operations, the senior proposes strategically repositioning Matrix Stigma 4 to this location, that it may better assist in coordinating planetary and cafe objectives. Transmission of orders will recommend at your signal. Do it.
Wait for thrusters on cooldown, initiating matrix installation. Speaking of which, we have one more installation to attend to, also in 7000. Perfect, now I can tell which Omicron we insults will be coming from. It also signifies your role in this operation quite well, does it not? Crude yet effective. This unit will consent to wearing the large yet life forms primitive accessory. Now my loyal Q, to work! The possibilities are infinite, so there's much to be done. Trouble quests unlocked. Your reputation is increased to friendly. Omicron trouble quests are now available from Stigma 4. You have now access to wider selection of rares from Omicron N5, 8, whatever. You're over there. Well below standard. In accordance with protocol induced by the flea infested manager, the last Rex water supply is currently sourced directly from the wellspring of regret. As organic life forms have a tendency to succumb to even minor environmental fluctuations, regular analysis and maintenance of a water supply is imperative to prevent widespread demise of cafe patrons. Appropriate sample for analysis detected. Approximate coordinates 13, 14, 2, Harmful agents often seep into the soil, indicating current levels of environmental toxicity. Speedy completion of task objectives is highly recommended. What else do we have to do? A brewing reputation. The last Rex performance is currently satisfactory, but analysis indicates that a focus on spreading awareness of a cafe's presence would yield even greater results. Therefore, you are requested to make use of your vocal aperture to engage in persuasive conversation with other life forms and secure their patronage. Commencing operation Propagandize Plebeians. Two likely locations of patron encounter have been marked on your map. Venture forth and return victorious. Grounds for improvement. According to verbal testimony of a malodorous manager, delicious and unique coffee is a vital component of any cafe. Although objective analysis of such inherently subjective categories proves difficult, current stores of coffee have been classified as insufficient. Upgrading establishment coffee is predicted to result in clear strategic benefit. Your task is to procure necessary ingredients to achieve this goal. Gather nectar from the Elysian fields. When your task is complete, deliver the materials to the food processing unit in the last tracks. Okay, cool. Let's first go to Elysium then. Sweet nectar! Okay, food processing unit. Allied life from death will be detected. This is in regards to the coffee upgrade, yes? Scanning for requested materials. Requested materials detected. Please place them carefully in this unit's receptacle.
receipt of material confirmed. This unit thanks you for your efforts. Return to Stigma 4 for your recompense. Later, later. Advertising our cafe to the dragons, yeah? Dost thou speak to me, little one? Pray be silent, for I cannot abide the chatter of the midnight creatures. Or say is this cafe is bursting with your like? The mere thought of a cacophony makes my bile rise in my throat. Uh, that didn't work so well. And advertising to the Omicrons himself. Eager support unit. Well, to further current objectives, all Omicrons have been informed that the last Drex is open for patronage. Several units have already been deployed to lend aid to operations. Is your current request in regards to weight stuff or patron insufficiencies? Retracting previous query in interest of efficiency, this unit will offer its services as needed to stimulate the appearance of a successful small business. Super, super, great. Fake customers. Okay. Reputation? Propaganda's pavilions underway. Requesting detailed report of mission objectives. Success rate unsatisfactory. Persuasion must continue until custom improves. Mission will never cease so long as life forms remain who have yet to hear the name The Last Drax. May the stipend meet your biological needs until your services are requested again. Grounds for improvement. Receptable unit reports received. Your cooperation is appreciated. According to subjective analysis by the whiskered manager, nectar derived components lend revitalizing sweetness to coffee. Projection indicate that coffee upgrades will result in increased patronage and an overall improvement of morale among coffee occupants. Whether this upward trajectory shall continue depends on the further insistence of helpful organisms such as yourself. Return of Allied Career Destiny confirmed. Requesting a detailed report with deliverables. Here your samples. Analyzing delivered materials. In accordance with pan-galactic sanitation standards, the purity level of a water source has received a grade of B. In contrast, Albatron water can be instantly synthesized to excite a grade of A by all accepted standards. The foul-smelling managers insist on natural water is conclusively illogical. However, so long as its provision does not hinder current work objectives, B-grade water meets minimum safety standards. Receive your recompense for this task and await future instructions, perhaps while imbibing some technically non-toxic liquids. Good, so that will be it for today. We started the, the tribal quest and begin and looked into the first quests. So let's see how Elysium fares. Until next time then. I'm Mace and don't get lost.